Hello there, this is Badlin Born again. Today's video is going to go into the topic of uh, what you can expect uh, happening behind your back when you have gone no contact with the narcissistic family. If you left your narcissistic family and you went no contact, what will happen? A lot of people wonder what will happen after they leave a toxic situation like this. After many, 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 many years, you have served uh, a purpose in this family, usually as a scapegoat. That's usually been your role, and that's usually why the narcissist kept you around at all. So if you left the narcissistic family, you know that there is talking. There is always talking. You know this from your own experience when... when um, you were involved in a triangulation and uh, even though you were the scapegoat you at sometimes the narcissist wants you to compete for that golden child spot or if you were the golden child and sometimes became the scapegoat this also happens that the narcissist switches places um, between the scapegoat who is now the valued child and who is now the devalued child this is something that goes on all the time and that's why the uh, narcissist creates this uh, sense of competition between the children that is always something to fight over some left uh, leftovers that the, the narcissist uh, um, gives you and now the narcissist wants uh, the children to fight over uh, some 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 tiny few uh, breadcrumbs that they they left for you is really ridiculous it's an endless game that they play and um, for some sadistic reason um, the narcissist uh, finds great pleasure in this game but this video is going to is going to be my thoughts on what is going on behind your back well we all know that like I said narcissists are they are addicted to gossip and what is happening when you break out of this system the narcissist needs to find a reason because it's never going to happen that the narcissist looks into themselves and think that oh there is a reason for let's say you're the child and you you left and there's a reason that the child left this situation they won't think about that they don't think that you had such a hard time and such i, I mean to leave your family is is the toughest thing you can do i mean it's it's it, it goes against nature it goes against everything that is within us to leave the people that we have grown up with you know almost because we are very loyal to our surroundings and especially to our family because family is is um, the most uh, stable even a toxic family you know that the family is there in some sense you know friends they come and go they move uh, they find jobs and they disappear, you know, so friends is, is usually unless you have great friends Not not as stable as a family uh, Will be to you. So leaving a family is the hardest thing you can do But a narcissist will not think that you have made a hard choice No, they will not internalize this and look upon themselves. Maybe they have done something wrong No, they cannot do that so what is happening is as soon as you leave, first of all, they don't think that you leave. They don't really, they don't really believe that you are going to leave because they don't think that highly of you, that you have that character. And because with a narcissist, they have been used to trample on you, treat you badly, and you still stayed, right? They have done this with you since you were a child and um, why should there be any difference right now right you they don't think that you will leave so first of all i i believe that they will tell you know the rest of the siblings the close family that you're not going to leave you're just angry and now maybe um the rest of the family can understand how hard time the narcissist have had with you okay because they're going to blame you for this situation they're going to blame you to all of the, the other people in the family. So they're there and they're also looking for pity. So they're going to tell them that because 
narcissists, be it a narcissistic dad or narcissistic, narcissistic mom, they're going to look for excuses for everything they haven't accomplished within their own lives. So there might be things that they haven't been able to accomplish um, and they will blame it on you. And this is a great situation because now you leave and you create a scenario you are looking like the difficult one you are looking like the one that is having issues you are looking like the one that is crazy and they have a great opportunity now to 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 strengthen that um that um, uh, vision among your other siblings as well like now they can tell everyone that you're the crazy one you're the bad one because now you have done something you have you have acted right you have acted you have left the family and who does that only a bad person would leave their family right so this is a this is a great narrative for the for the narcissist to use and they will use this uh, or abuse this situation to 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 strengthen their own uh, failed uh, ego so everyone will get you know the same servings of you being the bad one and, 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 and the narcissist will call and phone and, and they will be all over the place to, to, to make sure that everyone believes the same thing. Everyone has to believe the same thing about you right now. And the ones that don't, if somebody questions this situation, they will be excluded. They will be isolated. They will not be, they will not be around. Everybody has to agree on this situation now that you have left, you have gone no contact they don't use that term of course but they the narcissist understand why you do this deep within themselves they understand what they've done to you but they will play play it out as they haven't done anything wrong to you at all and depending on what kind of situation it was if if, if it became heated and it became an argument or it was uh just that you had enough one day you had enough and it just piled up on you um depending on exactly what kind of situation it was um, the narcissist might not really understand in the beginning what why you leave but they know that they haven't treated you well they know that they have um, and that's why they lie by the way so if you ever are wondering about if narcissists understand what they're doing you, you just ask yourself why are they lying a person that 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 knows the truth and is not afraid of the truth will not lie so narcissists are chronic liars and they will lie and they will just distort every everything that you have said uh to fit into their narrative all the time they, they will do this all the time and the reason they do this is because they they know that they do wrong things to you so like i said this is the beginning they will make sure that everyone one is on board with the narcissist's narrative about what is really going on this is extremely important to the narcissist so now when everybody is agreeing on that you are the bad person they can sit back and relax but they will not be able to do that when time goes on because people are going to start to question this you know are you have you really left are you gone what is happening they you know one of their children just left the whole deal and they will find excuses and they will find um, stories to back up that they are not really the problem you are having problems you are you are dealing with you know um, maybe stuff that is not true they might be they, they might be coming up with stories that has no foundation in reality to tell the people around because eventually people even in you know that are very loyal to the narcissist will maybe start to ask some questions about why you are not contacting or you know that nobody is able to be to to reach out to you so it's going to be situations where the narcissist just have to kind of like um uh, come up with excuses basically and, and and tell stories that that will fit into their uh, narrative again you know because as, as, as long as this goes on and you you have gone no contact you don't give any signs of coming back uh, you know eventually the narcissist is gonna just play the pity card pity me I have an evil child the child hates me I you should feel sorry for me I have no one left right they are gonna go into that kind of mode 
and they can stay in this kind of mode for quite a while for very long and if there is other siblings involved they will make sure that you know no one else does the same thing to to the narcissist because they they are they are uh, addicted to the supplies so they need someone around them so um, and they are also scared at this moment because they 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 really didn't think that you would do this they really did not think that you would do this uh, to them because they don't they don't like I said they don't see your your emotions they don't understand your feelings they don't understand that you're hurt um, on the same level that as, as you feel they understand that they hurt you but they don't care so they don't have a they, they don't have a care in the world for what they're doing to you so they will eventually try to contact you they will so um, some people call this hoovering I will not call this hoovering when it is family it's different when it is a relationship and you have a partner then it is hoovering because uh, a relationship is like it's different the narcissist is playing it's it's it's, it's, it's the same the narcissist it, narcissists are the same but it's a different situation so hoovering is more like recycling old supply and it's a difference between when you're not blood and you're not related right but a family member reaching out to you seems pretty normal right especially if it's your mom or your dad so I will not call this hoovering but this is just trying to re-engage trying to get you com to come back in to the game again but this is very important if you come back if you I advise you not to do so because if you have gone no contact with the narcissist there is a reason you did there is a reason you did and this is not an easy choice as I said this is not something you just come up with one day that hey I'm gonna leave my family I'm not gonna have contact with them no 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 this is your body has had enough your brain has had enough your brain is a physical organ right is 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 it's if you overload a muscle imagine if you are you know at the gym or something and if you're training the same muscle every day you know heavy heavy one day your muscle is gonna you know be worn out and you're gonna maybe have infections and it's gonna be tired right it's not gonna be able to it doesn't want to do this anymore so it's gonna tell you and the same goes on with your brain your brain is telling you no I do not want to go back into that situation again I do not want to go into that toxic cesspool of people because that's what a narcissistic family unit is so that is what that is what happens so I highly advise you to never ever ever go back to the narcissist when they have when you have made the choice of going no contact because there is a reason that 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 you had made that choice to begin with and like I said it's not easy to do this but at the same time I am not you so I'm not going to sit here and tell people what to do you might have different reasons to go back but I will just say this if you go back the narcissist wants you to crawl the narcissist wants you to crawl back to them because even though you get text messages or mails or whatever um, they might be very friendly in these you know attempts to get you back but believe me if you go back you will be listening to all the pain you know supposedly pain and suffering they have gone through when you were, were when you were gone they didn't really care they don't care about you remember this so they don't really care about you but you now they are in the situation of extreme narcissistic supply right because you coming back this is a great this is a depending on how long this has been of course it's been three days that's not no contact but I'm talking like if it's six months years stuff like this you coming back after such a pre prolonged period of time oh you know it's going to be hell on earth for you you they are going to burn the ground you stand on they're going to make you they want you to make you crawl around forever because you have caused such a pain not only to them but to 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 the rest of the family they don't really care about you though but but this is how they play right they play on your empathy they want you to feel bad shame so if you come back you will be just the the outcast forever you will be you will never have a say 
ever, ever again, because you will always be reminded on you, you, you went, you know, I'm just going to call it no contact, but they're, they're not going to say that you left the family, right? You left the family. You have nothing to say anymore. You, you shouldn't talk, you know, it's, it's going to be this forever and ever and ever, right? Because narcissists play the blame and shame game. That's what they do. And now you are now the one that's going to carry the blame and shame for the, for the whole family, not only for the narcissist, because now the narcissist has a great opportunity to just to, to play the, the savior, right? That, okay, you came back, but you have caused such pain to your siblings and all of this. In reality, though, everybody was sitting and talking shit about you. That is what really goes on when you're, when you're gone. There is, there is, there is nothing more. There, there might be some, and, and the narcissist will, will brainwash everyone to not want you back. That's very important as well. They will do that. They will, they will talk to your siblings and they will ask questions like, you don't really care about him, do you? I, I know you don't. And, and, and the loyal siblings to the narcissist, flying monkeys, they will go, no, I don't really care about him. He's a bad boy. He, you know, he's a, you know, you don't deserve this mother. You don't deserve this father. You know, you can just hear it, you know, how it goes on and on when you're gone. But as soon as you're back, if you go back, everything will change all of a sudden oh you know they don't care about you that you left what you feel that you have gone through enormous emotional pain because this is not an easy choice like i said but they imagine that it's easy for you to do this because they don't have any empathy and and you will never ever be asked the question why did you leave why did you do this because they're not interested in that they're not interested interested in listening into what your feelings feelings is not existent. Your feelings is not not existent in a narcissistic family unit, especially if you are uh, a person with empathy. They don't want to hear that. They want to listen to it. They don't want to, to. They don't care. So don't expect anything else. But it's going to be hell to pay, and it's going to be crawling around for the rest of your life in in this uh, dysfunctional family unit if you go back. So this is basically what's going on when you when you have gone no contact. There's not going to be much difference to the narcissistic family because because you know I like to think of them like a, a bunch of crocodiles, a bunch of alligators. Okay? They're they they notice that you're gone. They notice it, but they don't care. It's like, okay, a crocodile like the crocodiles will be like okay well, one of the crocodiles is, is gone but they really don't have strong emotions about it it's not like they don't really miss you 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 have always been failed you've always been in in the way of everyone else and in in the prosperity of for the narcissist you have been blamed and shamed so so it's actually some sometimes they might even talk about this behind your back that is a good thing that you're gone right narcissists will say that such things as well that i am i don't actually miss him you know they will tell other your siblings and 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 close family that they don't actually miss you they will do this they will do this and the reason they do this is to is to just build up an even stronger wall behind what they really feel behind the real you know deep 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 within their shame for what they've done but uh, the narcissistic masks are so heavy, they're, they're not going to let this sh uh, show. So they're going to tell everybody that, yeah, it's actually better off that you left. So this is what goes on behind your back. You, you're not missing out on anything, okay? So thank you for listening in. I hope this helps you if you're struggling with these kind of thoughts that you, you've got no contact and you feel like, oh, you've done something wrong. And this is natural. This is natural because you are a human being, okay? You're a human being. so. Don't think about this in this way. You have to just realize that these people are not healthy. They're not good. And until they realize this themselves, which might never happen, don't wait for it. There is nothing for you in this family structure to do. So uh, thank you for listening in and have a good day.